All right, let's go ahead and get to another video, Donald. This one is donated by Women Are Stinky Holes, and Women Are Stinky Holes dropped 24 beers on this one. Believe it or not, 24 beers. And let me go ahead and acknowledge that. Take a look at this. 24 beers right here. And he said, Thomas Fandom made a documentary about themselves. And he said, this one is worth seven beers. This one is worth seven beers. This one is worth five beers. And this one is worth five beers. Okay? So cheers to women or stinky holes in the house. All right? All right, let's go ahead and take a look at what Women or Stinky Holes has in store for us here. This is the first one on his list. Cheers to Women or Stinky Holes. And then he hooked another. Let's take a look at this. Put the PC shot on. He wants me to look at this one for about seven minutes, I believe. All right? Or no, no, this is this is a seven beer. My bad. Let's take a look at this. Other friend, and I walked over and I hooked him, and he's like, "I don't even know you," and we're hooking. How I met an unlikely fandom. All right. The first thing we did was hug. Yep. That's me. You're probably wondering how I ended up in this situation. Well, it all started with an Irish man's dream to go to America, a Tiger Mod project, and an unlikely fandom. Oh my god. So about a year ago, Thomas I made a video called tanky. How I Met a Fandom. And in that video, I detailed four crazy trips I went on. Thomas my first the time tanky Thomas engine! Van Talifin, to meeting the Tugs Trust guys, before finally going to America where I saw smoke. the Tiger Moth Project ridiculous. in person live. Then this through some mad ridiculous. coincidence, I ended up being in a documentary celebrating Thomas fans. And so today, I'm going to be reviewing that very documentary, as there's quite a lot to talk about. Uh, who so, cares about but your all that fucking out of the way, review? Let's begin with the story of how this even happened. Now, an unlikely fandom is all about the adult Thomas Tank Engine fans, a passion project adult, created by Brandon Carson. The adult now, prior Thomas to my the trip Tank to America, fans, I was vaguely aware of unlikely fandom. I knew it existed, but I'd never really thought about it. However, it was all thanks to another fan project, The Good Old Days, that would change all that. Another fan The Good Old project. Days was a project that Jacob Jarrett and Robert McGee had been working on for some time. And when it was announced that they would be doing a live premiere at Edison in New Jersey, I was so excited. Are like, you I kidding really me? wanted to go to it. I could have just, you know, watched the live stream, shit? but for some reason, I was compelled to want to go there I in mean, person. I mean, does this guy but have a significant other, a girl, a boyfriend, I kept telling myself, no, I wasn't going to go to America. I mean, it wasn't until 12 hours before the show at Edison where I decided to... Shut this fucking guy up. First of all, hold on. If this guy had a significant other, whether it's fucking a woman, a man, a tranny, this guy wouldn't be doing this shit, all right? That's the difference between these people that are obsessed with fandoms and those that aren't. Just jump on a plane I'm and fly saying. all the way to America. I had never actually been Sick to New Jersey. Shit. Hell, I'd never even been to the American continent before. But I still decided to go. <laughs> Again, it was way, so I'm, cool getting to I'm meet American Thomas I'm cleaning the Thomas screen the off first my time. pipe it of tobacco felt like a dream here. to me. I so couldn't if you're believe wondering what that I'm I was doing, actually there. That's meeting what I'm so many doing, people right? I had watched and respected for years. And it was at this Edison meetup that I actually met Carty, who oh was absolutely God. dumbfounded that this Irish Thomas fan had somehow flown all the way here. I mean, why do all these guys look like uh, stage one Down syndrome? I mean, are y'all are noticing this? I mean, there's definitely a weird, bizarre, uh, possibly psychotropic, drug-induced type of look to these people. Just to watch the good old days. I'm just it, saying. It was, it was quite... I don't blame him. It was quite bizarre. Since I was in America, Carty asked if I wanted to be interviewed for Unlikely Fandom, and I was very flattered by that. So I did my few interview bits for him, after which I hung out with some of my American Thomas friends and Canadian oh friends before God. heading Look back to the... Ireland. And I mean, no offense, dude, all right? I mean, you wonder why you're by yourself, and yet you look like this, all right? You look like I these people. I did my people. few interview bits for him, after which I hung out with some of my American Thomas friends. And look, look at this. Look at this guy. I mean, are you fucking kidding me? The last time this guy had any Poonanny, it's when Poonanny had him. I mean... Canadian friends. But look, look, what the fuck? Jeez, we're heading mind. back to Ireland. Never mind, never mind. That's where I thought right. the story would end, you know? I didn't even know if I'd make the cut of the documentary. Never However, mind. However, that's not where the story ends. So come 2023, I learned that Carty is now premiering an unlikely fandom on November 27th in New York. And as soon as I heard this, I thought to myself, oh no, I'm going to have to fly all the way back to America, aren't I? I knew that this was something I wanted oh to go my see God. live. Look at these and I really fucking wanted weirdos. to meet up with all of my American friends again. Look at However, these fucking weirdos. They're, They're hanging around dykes. Also on November 27th, They're hanging around dykes. So, unfortunately, 
I wasn't able to go. I was so heartbroken. Not being able to see my American friends again. Oh, I'm or so getting to see the unlikely fandom live. Oh my you know, god, I'm so It was I'm a real so shame. I was really sad about it. I was I sad about it. Carson I can't believe it. Oh my god. And he was very understanding. So as a compromise, we worked fair. out a little deal. Carson would send me an event it's screening of unlikely fandom for him to review on my channel. Like he did with other YouTube channels. And that way I'd still be able to see unlikely fandom even though I wouldn't be able to be there. It was a shame I wouldn't be able oh to go god. to America. But I do... I mean, Thank Harry I mean, very much for with these people. allowing me to review this. It who are these fucking nice weirdos, man? While I would have loved to have watched this with all of you in New York, I wouldn't I trust this these people with my so, dog. With all that background out of the way, let's get into the actual review. So, this is my review of Unlikely Fandom. Oh, jeez, who cares? All right, who cares? Wow. <laughs> I mean, wow. I, 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 he I literally, literally have no flew words. to America for this Fandom shit. Is a great documentary. And I'm not just saying that because he I got literally to flew to America for this crap. That. This is a really powerful thing. I don't think I've ever seen something so perfectly capture what it is to be a Thomas fan. Like, it touches on I'm so sorry many different we're watching topics. This. From the production of Thomas to how Damn it, I dropped the screen on the fucking floor. What is it, Kirk Johnson? God damn it. Call a fat middle aged man with Down syndrome. It really ticks all the boxes. Mr. Potato it wasn't head. even until right, watching this documentary funny, that right, I just I realized my just how much of myself I had repressed. Like, I had to pause Good this thing God. quite a few times while watching it because there were so many it, instances man. where someone would mention I an don't experience want that they went through, and, and then I would get, like, three or four memories that I'd repressed. Fuck. Like, when Jesus my family Christ, told me man. to stop watching Thomas and basically grow up, or when some of my old classmates might have, you know, made fun of me for liking Thomas. There's just so many experiences that people talk about. And what is this shit I'm watching? Give me a break with this I was not expecting to have What am I watching like here? Really what the fuck am I listening to? This documentary to? really reminded me of how much I went through just for liking Thomas the Tank Engine. Jesus no joke, Christ. I legit had a teacher who wrote down in my report card that I had to stop liking Thomas the Tank Engine. That's how much I was obsessed with the show. That You're is an actual a fucking true story. Stupid like I weirdo. said before, the documentary also touches upon other topics like autism, which You're I thought was a really nice touch. Autism. I, don't know, I do have Asperger's syndrome, in case oh, that wasn't obvious you. enough. <laughs> and fuck so you. to see that be touched upon the documentary, Entry there was really, Fuck you really and nice. your fucking and to hear other Thomas right? fans talk about their experiences with autism and Aspergers. I really appreciate that. I dude. really love the multiple perspectives that we get. Hey, dude, listen to me. If you got Aspergers or autism, go fuck yourself. All right. You want to know how to cure yourself of this? Pretend you don't have it. I'm. Not, you'll be shocked. All right. I've got somebody in the inner circle that took that advice. All right. Because that's all autists and fucking Asperger idiots talk about. Oh, I've got Asperger's. I've got autism. i got Asperger's. i got autism. That's all they fucking talk about. I don't give a shit. All right? I don't give a fuck. And nobody else gives a fuck either. All right? And watch. When you pretend you don't have it and you don't talk about it, believe it or not, people aren't even going to question you about it. All right, you might even possibly meet some actual genuine people that might want to be interested in you if you don't fucking talk about your stupid fucking <laughs> autism. All right, Thomas the aut. Oh, she. All right, that's enough. All right. Train for fuck's sake! Like Jesus you get perspectives Christ. on autism from people who used to watch the show, you know, and then you actually see how that helped out the parents. Fuck you, and people! Then you see how that affected the young children. Dude, like it's really well crap. Dude, fuck these people with autism and asthma. Fuck them in the ass, dude. I fucking can't stand these people. All right. Like, these people can't go and clean shit bowls and, you know, actually have jobs and fucking take care of themselves. No. Some fucking psychologist, all right, diagnosed these idiots with get out of tarred free card, and they've been playing it ever since, and it makes me fucking sick. Drafted. It really did touch right, upon a lot of perspectives in the family. That, that was another God. thing I was pleased hey, what is it, Haywood? Glass screen or metal screen. I used to rob screens out of sinks everywhere I went. If you were my friend. Your sink didn't have a screen anymore. Yeah, those are the kind of screens I do have, and I'm not pulling it out of my goddamn faucet and act like some ghetto fied jerk there, dude. Surprised by the documentary really does do a lot of globe trotting, not just for American I'm Thomas sorry fans, but also this, for right? Aussie fans too. 
and English and Welsh and even Irish Thomas fans. For a documentary made in America, I must say Carty really did a good job at reaching oh out to other God. countries. Look at these tours, it was also dude. really well structured. The way it flowed from topic to topic. Really uh, by the way, I just I hate to fucking reiterate this again because I have a bunch of Nazi LARPers that always talk about, hey, there's a white genocide going on, ghost. I'd buy that for a dollar. Nothing but white people. Why are we watching footage of the inner circle? Yeah, fuck you, Kirk Johnson, all right? Nothing but a bunch of white males, by the way. All right, just saying. It felt natural. Like, it didn't just feel like oh, a bunch of random... There's the token fat black, and of course there's a little bit of white in him. I mean, you can tell by the beefy tits, all right? Thoughts I mean, Jesus fucking Christ. Together. No, despite there being no chapters, but there white, is a sort of white... segment-like quality to the documentary, where the interviewees white... will talk about a particular topic, like meetups or prop collections or autism. White... And within those topics, all the clips that are used are very relevant. White... Like, no clip in a documentary white, feels white, jarring white, white, white. Wide, wide. Each clip really serves the particular topic that he or she is Another talking about. Another fucking tar white. Really impressed me. And I must say, getting to see myself wide. inside a documentary where you have actual people, and actual Another show wide, crews, wide. And like really wide. important fandom members. The fact that you had so many amazing people in it, and I was there too. You Dude, know? I, I thank God that none of these fucking people were my children. Are you fucking? I would have been called for, for abuse or something. I wouldn't. Are you fucking kidding me? All these fucking kids is, need is a good beating. All right. You give them a good beating, I guarantee you they wouldn't be fucking acting this way. And stop funding their stupid, retarded, extracurricular activities, all right? Not even fucking around. I can't stand you fucking autist Asperger motherfuckers, man. All right? It's just like a homosexual, all right? I don't care if you're homosexual. I just don't want to know. I don't want that to be the first thing that I know when I'm introduced to your fucking homosexual ass. All right, same thing with autist and Asperger's. Okay, great. You're autist or Asperger. I don't give a fuck. All right, I don't give a shit, nor is that going to make me change the way I treat you. All right, as a matter of fact, it may make me treat you even worse because I can't stand you fucking tard. Get on a tard free card, fucks. Obviously, very much appreciate that Carrie right. allowed me to be in this thing. <laughs> if I were to say one critique, I would say that you can really tell when some things were filmed in 2019 versus post-pandemic. Not in terms of the quality of the camera, and like the camera quality throughout was always oh very. You know, consistent. I can't. I I'm can't just take talking this. about the people. I'm the sorry, camera. women you can are sticky holes. Something was filmed I've had it. I've had enough. But, like the way that, like the uh, dude, I've had enough of this. I'm sorry, women are sticky holes. This is fucking unbearable. All right, I know that you're donating this to prove a point, and you're proving it. Believe me. You're fucking proving it. But this fucking piece of trash, all I keep hearing is, Oh, yes, I I go out there and visit Thomas the Tanky Engine because I'm Asperger's. I'm autistic. And that's what we do. We get around and we're not talking about Thomas the Tanky Engine. We're talking about our Asperger's <laughs> and our autism and all that shit. Hey, Ghost, I have some good ideas for awards. The biggest, fattest viewer, most racist viewer, most bullied show member. Best docs of the show. No, Dead show member no, that won't be missed. Shut up. You guys should add your ideas so the ghosties is lots of fun. That's not fun at all, dude. That's fucking horrible, all right? Anyway, let's get to the second video by Women Are Stinky Holes, all right? Uh, once again, uh, I, I can only bear that so much, Women Are Stinky Holes. Let's go ahead and take a look at the second video, all right? No. Oh, God, man. Women Are Stinky Holes is really trying to torture me uh, this early morning, all right? Women in their stinky holes is definitely trying to ruin my beginning of the year. Take a look at this, all right? 2023 Greenberg train show from an unlikely fandom viewer. I mean, look, no offense. Just by looking at you, I can tell that you're a fandom obsessed over some shit. It just so happens to be trains for this fucking four-eyed little freak. And I'm back at the Greenberg train Christ. Show. All right, here it is, the train show. Now, look, I mean, I get it. You know, people have like this, uh, like hobby of like having a train set up or something in like the fucking garage. I think, okay, that's great. But when you start taking it to an obsession like this, shouldn't you just go and work for the fucking railway at this point? I mean, why are you wasting your time obsessing over this shit? Why don't you go work for the railroad company? Why don't you go work for him instead of fucking sitting here spending mommy's money? Oh, that's right. You got neat bucks. All right. I forgot. You got neat bucks. I can't wait to that. This is we stop right. payment for neat bucks. That's the first place we need to cut is neat bucks. Is that what I think it is? 
Here, give me a smoke here, all right? Give me a break. I'll be right back. I'm going to put my chicken wings into the fucking oven. I'm not going to fucking sit here and fucking what? Look at some fat tard circle jerk over fucking toy train cars. I mean, is that what I'm supposed to do here? This is ridiculous. This makes me sick. Oh, my God. Please don't touch, autist. Please don't touch. And now we're driving to uh, unlucky family screening in a And of course, this person is riding shotgun. Probably mom and or dad or some dickless parent or guardian is driving this tard. Jesus Christ. What the hell is this? But I'm going to put my wings in the goddamn oven. I'll be right back. All right, you fucking... Ghost, of course, went AFK to put his wings in the oven. And some doxes were posted. Death to America. Hey guys, Sean here, and recently I went to the Greenberg train show in Edison, New Jersey for the third year in a row, as well as going to the Museum of the Moving Image in New York City to see the world premiere of an unlikely fandom. Finally seeing this movie that Cardi's been working so hard for, for four years on was just, was just amazing, and I'll give a review for it after... I'll give a review for the movie later, but like actually being there and getting to talk to a bunch of people. Some people that I met for the first time in person, shout out to Jeremy from Splendid Engine Studios. And also we got to see the guest of honor, Rick Sicklecow, as well as the one and only Britt Allcroft. Yes, that's right. I was in the same room as the creator of Thomas the Tank Engine and got to talk to her and get her autograph. I'll give a review for an unlikely fandom after I talk about all the cool stuff that I got from the train show. Now let's talk about the wooden railways that I got. All right, I'm sorry you'll have to watch. This, car this is courtesy of piece. women or stinky yeah, holes here. We have right? the recycling cars, but the rubber tire piece is. I guess y'all are getting a 411 on why people are obsessed this with this nice shit. I have rubber. no idea. And we also got Jack Frost Percy. Yeah, we've also had this oh, like, ever Christ. since childhood. But this, this is our childhood Dude. Jack Frost Percy. And. If you notice, it's missing its nose, so we had to get one that did have the nose. Dude, what yeah, the hell the am I watching of, like, 16 here? 16 years of playing with it will we'll do. And now for the new stuff that I got, here there is docs, Celebration dude. Toby. This came in the anniversary of right, the from right. 2010. Here's a picture of it. Also dude, has, you guys like, are Thomas fucking Percy assholes, dude. Seriously, dude. I don't know when I'm ever going to find the other three. How to make ghosts lose money. Anyway, back, thank you very nice much. I appreciate it. This version of Toby, because Learn to Curve didn't make many, like, variants of the Wooden Railway Toby, so... This is nice to have. And finally, the rarest thing that I found, the 2015 Origins James. Yeah, I don't know why, but if you look on eBay right now, the price that they're asking for these is like way too much. It's like $60. Dude, who cares minimum, about this and shit? I found it for only $18, so that was a really good price. I also got new in box aquarium cars. Well, it's not new in box, it's just in the box. So let's open it up. If you have ever had this version of the aquarium cars, the water that's in here likes to escape. Dude, After who gives a shit, years, dude? Look, it came with the women are stinky holes. holes. I can't fucking do this shit, man. Help to transport sea creatures to all sake, festivals man. and carnivals to the island of Sodor. And it also came with this. This is a pamphlet oh from God. 2001, which I already have, but this one is nice because it doesn't... I mean, why this donate I mean, this, this shit, man? This, this fucking is shit sucks! I, trusted you to not steal shit. I mean, people uh, are fucking leaving, box, for fuck's sake. Nobody wants to watch this crap! This is another check off the list of the many Ertles that I don't have. Oh my God. As well as Shining Time Station. Look, it's, it's never even been punched out. And also, I got a very Thomas Christmas. <sighs> of course, the Thomas the Tanky Engine. That's because it had great, a slipcover. And this slipcover cover is Jesus one of the last Christ. ones that I didn't have. The person that was selling it, it didn't even have the DVD, but yeah, I Yeah, dude, care. people are leaving. I don't blame this you, man. I mean, this is fucking horrible. Before. So now, I finally I mean, have I can't, I can't, dude. I'm gonna let this go this. for another minute, and dude. This shit sucks, dude, all right? This shit Ghost sucks. Summit, address 255. Uh, yeah, yeah, we get it, dude, all right? Or Adventure Begins and so does Oh, my God. And Aaron got this, a plush Gumby. 
Yeah, if you don't know who Gumby oh, is, God. he's like... I, I can't so take this anymore. I'm sorry. You know, women are stinky holes. Of books and morph into I can't do this, dude. This uh, fucking Gumby for fuck's sake. Take this shit out of here. Oh, my God. This is so fucked up, dude. This is a horrible fucking uh, crop of donos there, women are stinky holes. All right, this is horrible. Anyway, here's another one by women are stinky holes here. Oh, my... Dude, what the fuck is this? It's finally coming. My thoughts on an unlikely fandom premiere. Oh, good God. Why, man? Well... Dude, I might just... After, this might be it, It's certainly been dude. a long time since I've had... Dude, this one, I, that, I, this one might be it. I, after this, I'm going to go ahead and name the last Ghosty Awards, and then I'm getting out of here. How many fucking more videos do I have, all right? How many more fucking videos? <laughs> I'd buy that for a dollar. <laughs> I think you missed my earlier oh, dono Jesus. of this, but Gunther's completely lost it. He's now I calling don't for give the a fuck. of Serbia's government because he saw an elephant. I saw. I don't him. care. Jesus Christ, man! Look, I got, I got a whole sh dude. Look at all the. Oh my! And look, women are sticky holes with another twenty-four beers for fuck's sake. Oh my God! I got the Cali dude experience. I got, all right. I'm not going to be able to do all these, dude. All right, look at this shit. Look at this shit. Look at this shit. All right, I can't, dude, I can't do this. All right, I, I can't do all these fucking... I can't do all these donos, man, all right? I'm not doing these. I'm going to come back on Friday, all right? I'm going to come back on Friday and do the rest of these. I'm not fucking doing all these, all right? I'm absolutely not doing all these. Jesus fucking Leo, Christ. I'd buy Phil that for hero a dollar. For a shirt. <laughs> I'd buy that for a dollar. But hey, I guess within Jesus the assumption. Hey, guys, the second one. Hey! God damn it! Hey! Good shit! Hosting on this shit. You know what? I'm done with this show, dude. All right. By the way, that's Drunk Aussie that's posting all the fucking doxes, by the way. Only he would be fucking doing this shit. So FYI, all right, that's probably Drunk Aussie. Anyway, look, I've got, let's see, who do I got? I've got the TCR Fan of the Year. Uh, I've got the TCR Capitalist of the Year. And uh, those are the last two, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just, I I'm done with this fucking show. I am so fucking done. Uh... I'm done with this show. I'm sorry. I'll, I'm going to come back on fucking... Uh, I guess I'm going to come back on Friday. All right? I'm going to come back on Friday, but uh, I, I can't... I can't. Don't donate to me anymore, too, dude. All right? I'm fucking tired of this fucking shit, man. I got all these fucking donations I got to do. Don't fucking donate to me any fucking more, man. All right? Anyway, let me go ahead and let you listen, and let me finish uh, Women Are Stinky Holes' videos, because I've got this one and one more. So we can make it an even eight hours, and I'm getting the fuck out of here for fuck's sake, Jail. man. Well, I guess it's quite. By awesome. the way, all those doxes are drunk Aussie. All right, so just if you're wondering, that's who's doing it. All right, that's who's fucking doing it. And you know, he's an obsessed like Australian fucking prick. If you if you ever seen him, he looks like he's uh he's a little off. Oh, dude, no, 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 absolutely not. Dude, why, why isn't donation alerts working, man? What the fuck is going on? What the fuck is this shit? What the hell? What the hell was that? What the fuck was that? Dude, somebody donated an audio file. Dude, all right. Oh, Jesus Christ. <sighs> Jesus Christ. I'm done, dude. All right, never mind. I'll, I'll be back Friday. I'm getting the fuck out of here. I'm done with this shit, dude. All right, I'm done with this shit. I'll get back to the donos later. I will name Troll of the Year... All right, later on, I'm, I'm fucking done, dude. Okay, get me out of here. I'll be back Friday. I'll finish the ghosties and all the videos on Friday. 
Don't donate to me anymore. Don't donate to me anymore. I'm fucking done. All right, I'm done. I'm out of here, dude. All right? Get me the fuck out of here. I'm done with this fucking stupid show. I can't stand this shit. I fucking hate the ghost. You know I fucking can't stand fucking broadcasting this fucking show? I can't stand this shit. I can't stand this shit. Play this fucking video Obvious, for fuck's uh, I've sake. I've been quite busy with, of course, uh, plenty of stuff uh, with me personally, but I won't go into a uh, whole lot of uh, detail. I can't stand uh, course, doing uh, this fucking front, show, and, uh, dude. Not to mention I fucking Dion, don't like, course, like more than three quarters of you people. I, doing my best to, of course, All right, I'm not even joking uh, around. I can't, up and, uh, I can't stand you fucking movie people. Collaboration month, uh, Transformer some month, so... To which, yeah, thankfully we made good progress uh, so far. Uh, we've, uh... Yeah, I think uh, we're still. I'm not having a beer with you course, people. Uh, Fuck you. The, uh, review I'm not so having I, a beer with you fucking said, people. Uh, Fuck you. Video series that hag uh, I'm currently uh, working on. Fucking so uh, if anything shit. does uh, come up, I'll be sure to let that, all of you uh, know. Uh, any uh, updates on that? And, uh, nah, fuck off, dude. I'm out of here, dude. Just watch go. this, we've and I gotta watch one more video by side. women or stinky holes, and I'm getting out, the fuck out of here, speak, man. But hey, I guess it's uh, Negan since after what we've uh, got. I fucking hate with, doing course, this show. Uh, the, uh, hazy, I fucking hate yeah, doing man. it. Hazy, uh, I hate most of you people. You know, fires up in Canada. I can't fucking stand you, fucking people. But then again, if you have actually seen the news, you'll definitely know what I'm talking about. So. But yeah, not I don't like you people. Sure to, All course, right, uh, you people are some, trash. Uh, you are what the internet for, uh, fucking the can't of, uh, stand. Year, I can't fucking stand you people. Point, uh, you now, make me and, sick. Uh, and yeah, I think currently uh, as of now, uh, fucking I think, pieces uh, of trash. By the time this uh, video goes live, I'm already uh, slated to uh, go see uh, the uh, newest movie that just came out, Transformers: Rise of the Beast. So. So yeah, I'll be sure to uh, do a thoughts with you uh, on uh, that once I uh, do uh, come back from, of course, uh, seeing right, that shut your Sega fucking film mouth. for a sure. And thanks for the and five bucks. Beijing, uh, right around next weekend, uh, fucking idiot. I will be uh, doing a uh, matcha for a sure, but um, but I will say uh, my uh, girlfriend and her family are gonna be uh, coming back up here uh, for a really nice uh, visit. So uh, it'll be great. What to, uh, the fuck am I watching uh, here? Women are stinking holes. What the fuck? So, yeah, plenty of uh, stuff that I've uh, got going on as we speak, but, um, but I figure for uh, today's uh, video, I, I think I should uh, pretty much uh, talk about uh, something that's uh, actually uh, more connected to, of course, uh, when I first started making uh, videos on this channel uh, that I still suck to, uh, even to this day. So, oh, God. So, yeah, if you actually uh, know hands down uh, ever since I uh, first started, uh, you'll definitely know one of my uh, childhood icons is, of course, uh, Thomas the Tank Engine, and, and yeah, I guess he is uh, quite clear on, of course, that All right. part. Dude, I've had enough of this hands shit. Down, and, yeah, dude, well, like, I, I've had enough of this shit, dude. All right, I'm, I'm doing fucking Women Are Stinky Holes last fucking video, and I'm getting the fuck out of here. This is the most stupidest shit. I can't stand this fucking show. And look, don't donate to me. I'm going to do the last Friday show, and i got to figure out what I'm going to do with the ghost show, man, because I, I can't keep doing this. You fucking people are tards. You know, you people are fucking tards and shit, you know, so it is what it is. All right, here it is. Women are fucking stinky holes. His last fucking shitbag video. All right, here it fucking is. All right, Jesus Christ. I'm so fucking tired of this fucking stupid fucking shit. I might go back to True Capitalist Radio like five times a week, like in the afternoon. And I don't know. I'm, this show sucks, dude. All I attract is fucking idiot tards. I mean, look at this shit. Look at this fucking dumb, no, stupid don't. tard, for Christ's sake. Jesus Christ. I mean, look at this fucking idiot underdog. Why don't you go, kick the underdog out of here? All right. All right I'm glad you know, he's all disappointed that he's fucking, I, I wasn't nominated for nothing. You're a fucking dumbass. Get him out of here. Fucking under. Don't you go fuck off somewhere else, dude. Nobody fucking likes you. Why don't you go fucking mod for fucking f f oh, Flamo or whatever the fuck you do, you fucking stupid piece of shit. Fucking assholes. I can't fucking stand this show, dude. I can't fucking stand this show. And I can't stand most of you fucking people. 
Now give me a smoke. What the fuck? I mean, come on, man. a good excuse to actually uh, pretty much uh, show off some uh, stock uh, footage of of course uh, with of course all of my uh, you all the uh, Christmas me, uh, decorations around the uh, house and stuff as well as of oh, course uh, me and my uh, cosplay uh, pretty much uh, running uh, beside my Christmas tree I'm fucking tree, tired so. of this fucking I, you know, I hate all of you people yeah, you know anyways, that uh, hey guys, I hate each and every exactly fucking one of you right? and dollar. well Merry Christmas, uh, everybody! So, so yeah, like Fucking I do every single uh, year, you I uh, like want to do these uh, special uh, Christmas uh, message videos. He doesn't videos, care. Have you uh, seen what he looks like? He looks like a fucking tarred with one eye out of whack, Merry Christmas dude. Christmas as a uh, normal and uh, and yeah, all that uh, sort of stuff and uh, and yeah, much like uh, last year, I'm of course uh, doing it in my uh, Christmas barber cosplay uh, for sure. With of course uh, the uh, pay code that I actually uh, have. Uh, Fuck you! I don't uh, love you. You guys sure fucking so. make my life a living fucking hell. Yeah, I've way, been broadcasting uh, for I, eight I fucking hours, for me to, uh, and dude, I'm, I'm from the I'm so fucking tired for, of this uh, shit. All of you guys, uh, for uh, sure, uh, just to uh, just to really uh, show uh, uh, my appreciation for uh, all of uh, you guys, uh, for uh, sure, and uh, and yeah, I think it's a. Uh, Quite a fair, uh, of course, on that front because uh, 2023, uh, with this being our 15th uh, year on uh, pretty much uh, making uh, videos on uh, YouTube uh, for 15th a short, year, it was actually quite uh, an accomplishment entirely. I'm really uh, grateful that we got to uh, celebrate this uh, milestone, and for the fact that uh, we've actually uh, gained uh, way more views and uh, subscribers, uh, pretty much uh, during that time frame, despite uh, some. Uh, some massive uh, issues we uh, had Jesus to uh, deal Christ, with uh, right around uh, this year. Uh, I still think it's actually uh, really well worth it, uh, regardless. And I am uh, very uh, grateful for, of course, uh, all that. And uh, and yeah, I see it's uh, people like you that uh, really uh, showed your uh, support uh, to uh, help uh, keep uh, my uh, online career uh, alive uh, for uh, sure, uh, especially during our. Uh, Milestone uh, year uh, for uh, sure. So, so yeah, right and for now. that, I can't help but say Cheer thank up, you ghost. all so much uh, for uh, all Bart that. I Molson am from me. really, really uh, grateful entirely. Uh, whether it be uh, you would actually stick around, uh, of course, uh, see my videos, or of course, you would uh, recognize me uh, when I go to a con or event in person. I actually uh, am uh, very grateful <laughs> for, of course, uh, right all that entirely. And, and yeah, just by seeing uh, all of you. Uh, Pretty much, I uh, continue to uh, show your support uh, by far. It really does warm my uh, heart to uh, tongue uh, for a uh, shirt, sure. and and yeah, it's all the more reason uh, why I keep on uh, doing what I uh, do uh, for a uh, sure. So, but yeah, either way, I am very very grateful for, of course, uh, pretty much uh, what I've accomplished for, of course, this year, and I can't uh, I can't help but uh, thank you all so much uh, for uh, all that, uh, whether it be. Uh, you're one of my uh, subscribers, or you're uh, one of my followers on my other uh, social media pages, uh, for sure. And, of course, as of uh, recently, whether All it be right. your... Uh, one That's of my, enough. Uh, so I've had enough of this. Fucking women are sticky holes. If you're going to donate shit like this, don't donate to me, dude. This was fucking stupid. It was fucking ridiculous. And I'm fucking done with this fucking show, all right? Uh, the last two ghosties I will announce on Friday, Baller Friday, and all the rest of the donations. And don't donate to me anymore, dude. I'm serious. Don't fucking donate to me anymore. I'm fucking sick of this shit. All right, so I'll do the rest of the donations on Friday. Don't donate to me from now until then. And then after that, I don't know what the fuck I'm going to do with the ghost show because I can't stand you fucking people. All right, I'll be honest with you. I can't stand you people. You people are fucking sick, stupid, dumb fucking pieces of fucking troll terrorist crap. And I can't fucking stand you. All right, I spit in all your fat. Puh! I spit in all your fucking faces because you fucking make me sick. All right? You fucking make me fucking sick. Fucking pieces of fucking trash. Swear to fucking Christ, man. All right? Anyway, hold on. Let me get rid of Prince's fucking donation out of here. All right? I'm fucking tired of this fucking shit. Here. Here's Prince's fucking donation. It's a Twitter donation. 
I, oh, I already I, fucking I already daughter. played that one for fuck's sake. Hey, right. Dad, thanks for the awesome year. Shout out to Maria Maria. You in the chat have kept me alive. Won't be talking much in 2024. Well, thank you, Haywood, but let me tell you, man, I mean... I'd buy that for a dollar. Uh, I, dude, I am so sick of this fucking show, dude. I am so fucking disgusted with everybody who listens to this fucking show, everybody who's a part of this show. You know what I mean? F I'm fucking... I'm sick. I, I can't stand this shit. I can't fucking stand this shit. I'm doing the last... Probably the last go show on Baller Friday, Okay. I am absolutely probably doing the last ghost show on Friday, and I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of the goddamn uh, video donos, and then uh, that's it, dude. We're going strictly true capitalist radio or some shit. I'm not even kidding. I can't stand you fucking people that listen to this broadcast, all right? Especially you Vaughn idiots that are out there listening and chatting in those fucking chat rooms, okay? I fucking hate you fucking people in there. You people are trash, all right? All right, you people are absolute fucking garbage, and I fucking don't like any of you people that are in there. I'm not fucking joking around. You people are fucking trash. Fucking pieces of fucking crap. Anyway, I'm getting the fuck out of here. I will be back this fucking Baller Friday to do the rest of the donations. And uh, what is this? I'm going to fucking announce the... Uh, what do I have? The, the, the fucking fan of the year and capitalist of the year. All right? And don't call me dad and say you love... I don't fucking love you people, all right? You people make me fucking want to puke. I don't fucking like any of you fucks. You people make me sick. I'd buy that for a dollar. I uh, hope you're missing you. right, Shut up, you dollar. fucking idiot, all right? All right, look at Art Hammond. So what did I miss? Well, I'm, I'm glad that you just arrived because I'm getting the fuck out of here now that you're here, Art Hammond, all right? Go fuck yourself, all right? Fuck all of you people out there in Vaughn.Live fucking chat room, man. You make me fucking sick. You know that? Each and every one of you that are in that chat room, you make me want to fucking puke. All right? Puh, I spit on all of you fuckers that are in there. You fucking piece of shit. Can't fucking stand you fucking people, man. Anyway, as I stated, don't fucking donate to me anymore. I'm going to finish the rest of the donations on fucking Friday. Go fuck yourselves, all right? Go fuck yourselves. Get me the fuck out of here. I don't want to fucking sit over here and fucking, you know, have to sit here and brag. I've been here for eight hours taking nothing but a bunch of badgering from you fucking people. And do you fucking give a shit? No. All right. No. I'll be back on Baller Friday. Get me the fuck out of here. I got wings to eat. All right. I got wings to fucking eat for fuck's sake. I'd buy that for a dollar. So you're going to do TCR exclusively now? I doubt it. But nonetheless, I'm looking forward to round two. Yeah, yeah. You know what? Go fuck yourself, all right? Go fuck yourself. You fucking piece of shit. I'm fucking... You know, all of you people that are talking shit in Vaughn.Live, I hope you all fucking die of cancer of the cock, all right? I'm fucking out of here. Get, the, get me the fuck out of here. Go fuck yourself. I'll be back on Baller Friday, you pieces of fucking shit. I'm out of here. Get me out of this fucking goddamn ridiculous... The D-Live chat weren't given their lemons as if they ever deserved them.